Hi there and welcome to this lesson. Uh, in it I'm going to look at how do we find the tangent line to a circle, the equation of a tangent line to a circle. So we'll start off by just drawing a circle here. Um, so let's just draw a circle and so that we can define what do we mean by a tangent line. So there's my circle on my Cartesian plane. So my Cartesian plane and And now I want to draw a tangent line. Let's do the tangent line in yellow. Okay, so there's a tangent line. Is that line that just intersects the circle in one point? So most lines, when they intersect circles, they will do it either no times or in two points. A tangent line is that line that intersects a circle in exactly one point, meaning that it's simply touching the circle. Now there's an important point that we need to mention about tangent line, or important thing we should say about tangent lines, is that a tangent line, and this is a theory, um, a theorem that comes from, from Euclidean geometry, a tangent line will intersect a circle uh, and the point where it intersects the circle will be perpendicular to the radius at that point. In other words, if I was to connect the center with the tangent point, that line will be perpendicular to the uh, tangent line. Now, the reason why that's important is because if we are trying to find y is equal to m x plus c. We're trying to find the equation of the tangent line. What we are going to need is the tangent point. The tangent point. So let's assume the tangent point is the point u v. So the point u v, whatever this point is where it's tangent, that's the point u v. Okay. What we also need to assume is that we have, somehow we have the center of the circle, PQ. Now, if I have these values, UV uh, and PQ, I can go and find the gradient of the tangent line by remembering that if I, if I can find the gradient of the radius, I can find the radius the gradient of the tangent by keeping in mind that when gradients are perpendicular I can multiply the tangents to get sorry the gradients to get negative one okay and we looked at that in previous videos so let's let's take the gradient of the radius we find simply by using the fact that we have two coordinates so the change in the y values which is uh, Q minus V divided by P minus U. Just the change in the Y values divided by the change in the X values. Now, that means that if I have the change in the radius, oh, sorry, the gradient of the radius, I have the gradient of the tangent by just taking whatever this, this is some sort of fraction, like 1 over 2 or 7 over 5 or negative 3 over 1 or whatever. There's some sort of fraction. Now I just turn the fraction around and give it a negative. In other words, I take the reciprocal of the uh, gradient and give it a negative. Or if it's got a negative, I keep it positive. Whatever. I've got the gradient of the tangent now. The next thing I need to do is find the c value of the tangent. Where does it cut the y-axis? And that is once again comes down. If I have one parameter left to solve, I substitute a point. I sub a point. Now, do I have one parameter left to solve? I've got the gradient, I only need the y-intercept. So yes, I've got one parameter left to solve. Which point will I substitute? The center or the point, the tangent point? 
Well, we'll substitute the tangent point because the center does not lie on the line. I'm trying to find the equation of the line. I need to use information directly related to the line. And the point is the point UV, the tangent point is on the line. So eventually to find C, so I'll have Y is equal, I will now have MT. Um, times x plus c, I will have this. I will temporarily substitute y and x. And so I'll have v is equal to mu plus ct. So in that way, I will be able to find ct. Now, once I have ct, I've got all the values to find my the equation of my tangent line. Now, that is all I'm going to say about the matter at this point. In the next couple of videos, we'll look at some examples. And it probably gets more difficult than, than, than just as straightforward as giving the tangent point center. And Bob's your uncle, there you go. But uh, let's look at some examples in the next couple of videos. Thank you for watching. See you there.